Now, uh, uh, Tiger Mask was um, Round one. Japanese wrestling. Fight. Nice punish. KO. Very, very nice. <clears throat> oh, you think about... Oh, I haven't watched uh, much of AEW. And I don't watch a lot of uh, New Japan either. Because I don't even know how to watch it. <laughs> wow, that combo. That was good. <laughs> but uh what I've seen of uh AEW I like the um Tyrannosaurus um guy whatever his name was and some dude um the dude with the with the shades that keeps his hands in his pockets I like him a lot too Oh man, I thought it was gonna be a sidewall. Darn it. That was my my move. Orange uh, Luchasaurus and Orange Cassidy. Oh my bad. I'm I'm terrible with names, man. Are people hating on WWE? Uh, I mean WWE, man. You have to take it with a grain of salt. You know that they they have to appease the children. You know the younger audience, so they have to do a lot of toning down with stuff that they can say. A lot of wrestlers can't like shoot promos and go all out as they say they can't do it you know everything has to be held back and it sucks when the the wrestlers are called to the main roster from nxt and they're like neutered versions of themselves because they're competing against like tv time pretty much like so they're told to shorten all the matches and everything you can't have 25 minute long matches so you can't showcase all your moves. So all the matches, like the flow of all of them, go the same on the main roster. Whoever that's gonna win the match gets whooped the entirety of the whole match. And then they come back with like three moves at the end and win. Oh my God, why? I don't know why I didn't just kill him. Great. Round two. Fight. Ouch. That wasn't even a combo. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad round. Round three. Fight. Oh, the turnaround jab. <laughs> I think those are like eight frames fast.
That was good. Ouch. Wait, where did where did my jab go? <clears throat> I don't know where they went. Goodness, I'm so terrible. <laughs> A lot of people are asking, they're acting like Bamco are killing the game with the new patch notes, and they don't know what they're doing. What's your take on that? I mean, the, the patches, they're all, they all have an agenda, obviously. And like I said before, the agenda is to buff the Mishimas, buff the high execution characters, nerf the ones who aren't. I'm saying the ones that are like super, super good. Like 2D is, they've been a big problem since their inclusion. Especially like Geese Taurus, uh, really all of season two. Akuma towards the uh, end of season um, two, and then like it was a combination of them like earlier in season three, but now they nerfed them like heavy, heavy, heavy nerfs. So it looks like they want Mishimas to run the show because they're a little bit harder to use. But I don't know how making you know hell sweeps track more and having electric be pretty much super hard to will punish I don't know how that's gonna really make them consider low you know high execution still just kill them round two yeah I saw it uh, Gable Martin I've seen um Sasha, Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair, didn't they do the Rolling Death Cradle <laughs> in uh, NXT? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, they, they want um they want Mishima's at the top, obviously. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, good games, Armor King, good games. Ah You said there was some well deserved um Mishima buffs. Yo, good games again, Armor King. Um, it's like you're improving more every set. But don't worry, man. I'm going to keep improving, too. Don't you worry. Cheers from Nigeria. I've made you love this game. Um, Aling Black. Yo, yo. I'm honored. Every time someone tells me that I made them, you know, love the game or I got them into the game, you know, it really, it really humbles me and I enjoy to hear it. Not because it's me doing it, but because more people are playing my favorite fighting game ever. So that's always great. So my Nigerian friend, I uh, thank you. Thank you for watching this stream, enjoying these matches. Um, yeah, yeah. It's always great. <laughs> 